It's so easy to make a mistake on the first day you bring your new golden retriever puppy home. But this is such an important day. Day one with your new golden retriever puppy can help make life a lot easier for you and your pup, or it can make life a lot harder. And there are many seemingly innocent things that could go wrong that can stress your puppy out. But in this video, you'll learn exactly what to do on day one of bringing your puppy home. The very first thing you should do is ensure your puppy has a collar or harness on that has an ID tag on it. Even if they are microchipped, put a physical ID tag on them. It's not likely that your new pup will get lost on their very first day with you, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Just in case your puppy somehow gets away, the ID tag will help you get reunited with them as quickly as possible. I know. This tip might seem like a bit of a downer to start with, since nobody wants to think about their brand new puppy getting lost on day one. But having that ID tag is an easy step to take to make sure that you're reunited with your puppy more quickly if an escape does happen. Now once your puppy has their ID tag on, take them outside for a potty break. Whether you traveled to pick up your puppy or they were delivered to you, they've probably been holding it for a while and need to go. Give your puppy an opportunity to do their business before they come inside to avoid an accident. Hopefully, the breeder or rescue you got your golden retriever puppy from has been teaching them to potty outside, so you'll have a head start on house training. But even if your puppy has been doing well with potty training previously, keep in mind that they may be confused now that they're in a new environment. Being away from their mother and littermates can also be stressful, and sometimes puppies won't potty if they're feeling nervous. All that to say, your new golden puppy may not potty outside on that very first potty break when they get home, but you should definitely give them some time to try. And you want to continue giving them frequent potty breaks outside every 30 minutes or so, as well as after naps, playtime, and eating or drinking. If any accidents happen, clean them up thoroughly so your puppy isn't attracted back to that spot. If you have any other questions about potty training, I'll drop a link to our potty training video down in the description. So what should you do after you give your puppy a potty break? allow your puppy a chance to get familiar with your home. The first few days with your puppy should be focused on helping them feel safe and comfortable with you and your home. Yes, your home is familiar to you, but it's completely new to your pup. And while you might want to give your golden a full tour of their new house, it's best to start them out with just a small section, like your kitchen and or your living room. Too much space and freedom can be overwhelming for a new puppy, and you have plenty of time to show them the rest of the house later. Put up baby gates and keep doors closed to help you create a puppy-proofed area for your new pup to explore. Place any items that are familiar to them in this space, such as a blanket or toy that smells like their mother. Let them walk around the space and simply take it all in. If you have a yard, you can also let them check out that space as well. Some golden retriever puppies will be very confident and will stroll around like they own the place. Others might be more hesitant and unsure initially. It can help to sit on the ground as your pup explores so they can use you as a home base if they're feeling unsure or just want some attention. You can also talk to them in a calm, positive tone of voice. But don't be a helicopter parent and hover over them. That can make them nervous. It is important to supervise your puppy on day one, and we're going to talk about supervision later. But you don't want to potentially scare your pup by hovering over them as they check out their new home. Ideally, the area will already have been puppy-proofed, but if it hasn't, you want to quickly do so. Remove anything that your puppy could easily destroy or that might be dangerous if they chew or eat it. And allow your puppy plenty of time to acclimate to this space. They might sniff or play with a toy. They might walk around or sit or lay down. Or your puppy might choose to lay in your lap. That's all fine. Now what you do next really depends on how your puppy is feeling. Remember that the goal for day one is for your puppy to feel safe and comfortable. If they seem energetic and confident, you can have some playtime with the cool new toys you bought for them. Maybe try out a game of fetch or tug of war. The first playtime should be all about having fun and bonding with your new companion. And letting your pup win the toy can help them feel confident. As you play, try to read your puppy's energy levels. By all means, have fun playing with your golden puppy, but you don't want to overwhelm them or intimidate them with your own energy. It's always best to start low-key and go from there. Your puppy might also enjoy some calm petting and cuddles as well. Before they came to live with you, your puppy spent a lot of time in contact with their mother and their litter mates, so some affection can help them feel safe. Again, you want to read your puppy's body language to make sure that they're enjoying the petting. If they're moving away from you or trying to avoid your hands, they probably aren't in the mood for cuddles. Don't worry, it doesn't mean they don't like you. 
they may just prefer not to be touched at that exact moment. On the other hand, some golden pups will find your affection very comforting on day one. There's also a good chance your puppy will be exhausted from traveling and acclimating to their new home. They might be sleepy and in need of a good nap. You can help your puppy get some quality sleep by creating a comfy place where they can rest uninterrupted. This could be a crate or a pen or a small area behind a baby gate. Often, if a puppy naps out in the open, they will be easily disturbed if you get up and move around. They might wake up and follow you, and that means that they're not getting a good nap. Giving them their own space to rest ensures they're getting the sleep that their growing body and brain need. If you see them looking sleepy, you can gently pick them up and put them in their crate or pen. Initially, it can help to sit nearby so that they don't feel too alone. On day one, it's also perfectly okay to let your new pup sleep in your lap. It is important to teach your puppy to be comfortable while confined, but on their first day, it's okay to let them snuggle up for a snooze. And this video only covers day one, but if you want a guide for the first 30 days of bringing your new puppy home, check out our Golden Retriever Puppy Handbook, which I'll link to down in the description. Now your new puppy doesn't understand any of your house rules yet, so while they're cruising around getting to know their new environment, you'll definitely want to actively supervise them at all times. Active supervision means keeping both eyes on your puppy and being able to step in right away if needed. Without proper supervision, your puppy might have a potty accident, chew up your stuff, or accidentally swallow something that they're not supposed to behind your back. Like I mentioned earlier, you don't need to hover over them, but just watch them closely as they move around your home and yard. A little trick that can help is to keep a lightweight leash clipped to their collar or harness at all times. This gives you an easy way to redirect your puppy or get control of a situation when needed without having to startle them and grab them. For example, if a family member opens the front door to bring in a package, you can step on the drag leash to ensure your new pup doesn't try to bolt outside. Supervision helps keep your puppy safe and can prevent unwanted behaviors from happening. If you can't actively supervise your puppy, you can put them in a pen or behind a baby gate in the puppy-proof space until you're able to watch them again. On day one, you shouldn't leave your puppy alone for too long, as that can be stressful for them. Teaching your puppy how to be alone is really important, but on their first day, it's more about getting them used to you and your home. Another important thing is feeding your golden retriever puppy. The breeder or rescue should have told you about your puppy's mealtime schedule. Even though you might want to shift their eating times a bit to better suit your own routine, stick with their original schedule for day one. Coming home with you is a huge transition, and so it can be helpful to your puppy if their meal times stay the same, at least initially. It's also a good idea to feed them the same food that they've been eating so that they don't have tummy issues on their first day. This is because, when it comes to switching puppy food, it's best to transition them to a new diet slowly over a period of time. If your puppy is a bit stressed out, they may not eat all their food, or they may opt to skip a meal. Just like pottying, stress can affect a puppy's appetite. But if your puppy skips multiple meals, consult the breeder or rescue and your vet to be sure that they aren't sick. Once your puppy is more comfortable in your home, their appetite will return. Golden Retriever puppies need three meals a day throughout the first several months to meet their nutritional needs. So ask the breeder or rescue if they've eaten before you pick them up so that you know how many meals to offer them on that first day. In addition to their food, you can also offer your puppy some things to chew. It's a good idea to leave some chewing options on the floor so your pup can access them when they're in the mood to chew. You could also offer them some treats, which can help build a connection with your puppy. Don't worry too much about intense training on the first day. On day one, treats can be used to show your puppy that you're a cool, nice person worth paying attention to. You might be wondering if you should take your puppy on a walk on their first day with you. And the answer really depends on your specific puppy. If your pup seems tired or a bit timid, it might be best to stay within your home and your yard on day one. You don't want to overwhelm them by introducing too many new things all at once, so if they're still taking in everything at home, there's no need to venture out on a walk. You'll have plenty of time in the coming days and weeks to introduce them to the big, wide world. But if your pup seems very confident and is taking the transition in stride, you could go for a short walk. And by short, I mean very short. Young puppies don't have much endurance and will tire out quickly. Think of your walk as more of a brief adventure than a full walk. Maybe you simply venture to the end of your driveway or to the neighbor's house and back. Let your puppy explore and sniff around to get familiar with the area around your home. If you do decide to go on a walk, observe your puppy to see how they are feeling while you're out of the house. 
If they're showing fearful behavior, like pulling back to the house, shaking, freezing, cowering, or hiding behind you, then it's best to go back inside. They could be feeling overwhelmed, and the walk is best saved for when they're more comfortable with their new home. If your puppy wants to sit or lay down while outside, that's okay. This is all new for them, and puppies often like to pause and observe their surroundings or have a nice little break. Keep their first walk short and sweet. Just a few minutes is enough, and then head back inside. Your first day home with your new golden retriever puppy will be a mix of them checking out their new home, playtime, cuddles, naps, and lots of potty breaks. When it's time for bed, take your puppy out for a final potty break. If you're going to have your puppy sleep in a crate, place the crate right next to your bed. And it can help to elevate the crate by setting it on a table so that it's level with your bed, which allows your pup to see you. You can also place the crate right on your bed so that they can be very close to you on their first night. It's their first time sleeping away from their litter mates, and that can be disorienting and scary for a young puppy. You won't always need to have the crate so close to you at night, but it can really help ease the transition. If you prefer your gold retriever to sleep in your bed, it's also fine to let your pup fall asleep with you. It's normal for puppies to need breaks during the night, so be prepared to get up to let them do their business outside. And if you're letting your puppy sleep in your bed, you'll want to be especially vigilant about any potty signals so that they don't have an accident in your bed. On their first day home, your puppy is getting to know you, and so your main focus is to help them feel comfortable and acclimated. Avoid anything that might scare or intimidate your puppy, and stick with activities that will promote a positive bond and help you gain their trust. But there are some things you might do that accidentally hurt your pup. See what those mistakes are in this next video about 17 ways you're hurting your golden retriever without realizing it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.